Can you please tell us your name and where you're from? My name is Luis Quiroz and I'm from Kennewick, Washington. And Luis, can you tell us what the problem that you were having before and the testimony that you have to share with us today? The testimony that I have for you guys is how I was delivered and freed from my addiction of marijuana of five years. Um, this, all, this all started, the first time I smoked marijuana was when I was 14, but it didn't really become an addiction, a daily habit, till I was 16. And ever since then, it started affecting a lot of different areas of my life um, financially. Um, it all started with just like $20 a week, and then all of a sudden it started going up to like $100 a week, just more and more and more. Um, um, my relationships with like different friends, they started like pulling away because they didn't want to be part of what I was starting to be associated with. Uh, my family, you know, they started um, getting really disappointed in me of the decisions that I, I was making, and and we just have, well, I could see them, you know, being disappointed every day in me. Um, mentally, um, I started, you know, just thinking really negative. Um, my dreams and goals started just fading away. All my, all my motivation just started going away. I didn't really care about much. And and then all of a sudden, you know, I started realizing that I, w I wasn't just doing this um, for fun. All of a sudden, I was doing it, you know, to get away from the pain, to get away from the truth, to get away from the things that really mattered, um, to get away from my responsibilities. And at that moment, um, I knew it was really affecting me, but um, that's when I also realized that, you know, it was an addiction. I couldn't stop because from that moment on, every time that I did it, it was my last time, but it, it kept going and going and going. So, I mean, that's when I knew it, it was an addiction for me until last year in November, that's when I got invited to this church, and that's the, I got saved at that time, too, and then I started seeing the um, prayer line services, and I started seeing and hearing testimonies of how people were being um, delivered and being set free from any habits that, any, any addictions that they were facing, so I knew that this was, I knew I was going to find the answers to my addiction at this time, so we, Ever since you know I got saved, it helped me a lot to slow down because I started seeing things black and white. But I was still struggling, you know. I, I, um, I was still doing it once in a while, so you know I knew that I, I could find my answers in the prayer line. So I asked um, if I could be prayed over in the prayer line of month of March, and so I came in and got got prayed over in in that prayer line. And ever since that day, I've been clean. I haven't done. No marijuana, but just my, my thoughts and cravings are completely away. Wow, wow. So, Luis, can you tell us, you had said that you had gotten saved and things had slowed down, but can you explain a little bit more for the people here, after you had received your salvation, you know, a little bit about the experience and maybe the struggle that you were having of wanting to stop but not being able to? Yeah, you know, I, I, wanted, I wanted to stop, but, like, I, like I couldn't even go because I... That's when I knew I was being an addicted to it, and and you know it, it was really hard because I, I would I would get mad at myself because I was just lying to myself saying that you know I'm going to stop, but I still kept doing it, and so I I knew, I knew that my answers were gonna, I was going to find my answers in the prayer line. Wow. So, Luis, now that you have received this wonderful deliverance from smoking marijuana and from doing all of that, can you give people advice today? Maybe they're facing the same situation that you were once in. What can they do today to receive their own miracle? Um, j just come in with full faith. I mean, you already have faith because you're here. But don't worry if you're going to, what's going to happen over here, like if you're going to manifest or what you're going to say or anything like that. Just come in with full faith, believing that that your situation, your problems, or your addictions are going to are going to be answered in the name of Jesus Christ.